Today, we're just gonna be taking a quick peek and explanation at a graphic that I had made. Um, and this graphic is pretty much for uh, newer players. This is, uh, if you're an end game player, uh, this video is not going to be for you. Feel free to watch it if you want to, um, but you probably won't glean too much information from it. Uh, this is for the newer players out there who not necessarily like level one, but you know, as you're, you're coming on up and you're just like, well, I'm not sure what I should focus on or what should I work on or what's important. Um, and so today we're going to talk about that and uh, let's just get into it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so like I said, pretty straightforward. Um, I went ahead, I put together a graphic, and this will be for newer players on who they should farm, where they can farm them from, and kind of the importance of each character. So I don't want to spend too, too much time on it because this could be a, an hour long video talking about this stuff. But real quick, in the top right hand corner, those are never farm characters. Don't waste your time with them. Just don't, uh, unless you're my friend Mystique. Don't ever farm scientist supreme she loves her i don't know why so what you're looking at here is that you can see right away there's a lot of defenders at the very top of the list that is because defenders are by far the best faction you can get as an early player so in arena you're going to be want to be farming daredevil in blitz you're going to want to be farming luke cage on the regular nodes, you're going to want to be grinding through the campaign. Uh, that way you can get to Punisher, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. If you have that team, it's going to help you really jump ahead in the early game because they have tons of synergy and any other players who are taking the game seriously are going to be farming those as well. It just helps you out and it's a good even end game team to have and they're pretty easily accessible. Next you can kind of see anything below that i kind of put it's like less important so it's like from top to bottom with importance so pretty much you can see uh, i've got rocket at the top in the raid store the reason for that is is because i think that rocket is the very best character that you can get out of the raid store plus eventually um with the help of guardians and ravagers you can unlock star lord so you want to kind of be acutely aware of other things that are going on and um just real quickly so you get star lord with uh Ravagers and Guardians, you get Nick Fury with Kree, you get Iron Man with shield characters. And so you want to look at that and say, okay, well, where can I like slowly farm these characters? So I kind of have it put in there like on the second row, you can kind of see I've got Drax, Ravenger Boomer, Gamora, and then Yondu, and then plus Rocket, that will be enough to be able to get Star Lord. Those characters are readily accessible, they're not super hard to get. Um, you just kind of have to use your materials wisely or your energy or your currencies you got to use all that stuff wisely so it's just important like i said before it's important to be focused that way um you don't get to level 60 65 and be like oh wow i don't have any good characters what's going on here so moving away from that you have uh mordo in the second row as well as quake both of those characters are good quake can be used as a shield to unlock iron man iron man's cool he's iconic he's not that good though so quake is just an overall good character mordo is an overall good character then um you can see in the raid store we have the kree oracle obviously used for nick fury uh shield trooper which is used with that team also can be used to unlock iron man so it's kind of like a dual purpose thing there and then i put hand sentry on there he's a good character um depending on where you're at he can be used in arena he can be used in blitz his stealth is really good uh at the end game uh, he's not very good anymore but as a low level, lower level character he'll be good you can also see like i said yondu and then you have hawkeye who is a very good character and he's a shield character as well as a shield medic there same thing shield character and actually just a very good character Next line going along uh, with Arena, this is kind of where, it's kind of just like up to you. That's when if there's multiple characters on a line, in my line of thinking it was kind of like, well, you can pick one of these. If there's a line that has just one character on it, um, basically it's like that's the one you should do first. Then um, for example, on the node area there with Night Nurse, Punisher, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist and Captain America, you should have enough energy to be farming all of those characters every day um from their nodes you should be able to do that and then that's kind of where i recommend for that to be then once you finish those you could go down and then so on and so forth and you may be saying oh uh, in blitz i'm only going to be able to farm one character at a time and that's true so when you see uh, gamora and ravager boomer in my thought process it's like hey just pick one of those and then farm them and then go on to the next one 
and then move down from there and then pick one of those three um, for the for example with the blitz you can pick uh, Cree Royal Guard crossbones or spider-man and just pick whichever one you want and then go ahead the node farming is a little different just because say you're farming uh, the top row and say you finish Punisher well, you're still working on the other four, you could just move on to someone else and say, oh, Yondu, Hawkeye, Shield Medic, or maybe you want to start working on Kree. You say, all right, I'm going to get these Kree. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's up to you. This is kind of what I'm thinking along these lines, though. Um, just something I wish that I would have had when I first started playing. Um, one other pretty big recommendation that I have, and uh, some may disagree with this, but I thought that it was pretty helpful when someone shared this with me when I was playing before, is that... Um, farm each character but farm them to five star um, because it takes forever to get characters all the way up um, I mean it takes I mean I'm still working on rocket personally and I played in the beta when they gave it shards away so just get them to five star and then that way so for example if you get the guardians and ravagers to five star then you're able to unlock star lord at five star same thing for Kree and same thing for shield and so on and so forth eventually with the brotherhood when they become more farmable five star and then you can work on it from there so that's kind of like i said my thought process with it so guys like i said i uh, i put this together just because i i thought it would be helpful for the community um with newer players um of using photoshop so i just kind of threw it together uh, i got a couple other things i'm working on so if this is well received if people like this then i'll go ahead and finish the other things that i'm working on and uh We'll go from there. So uh, on the graphic, um, if you see this floating around, that's just my YouTube channel down below. Um, and we'll just go from there, guys. So I hope that, like I said, this is helpful to some people. Uh, let me know if it is. Um, as I said, I'm happy to help people. That's what I want to do this for. So thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have never seen my channel before, like if this is the first time seeing it, um, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, we have tons of, like I said, helpful information on here, and uh, we're just going to keep doing that. So if uh, if nothing else, guys, um, Hail Hydra.